<laughs> hey, Siren Soul Seekers, we're back and we're lucky enough to have Caroline Cranshaw in the studio today. We're talking about clearing blocked energy that's inhibiting us from being our personal best. Now, Caroline Cranshaw is New Zealand's leading hypnotherapist. She's also a sex therapist, a relationship counselor. She does so many things. Today, we're going to focus on some tips that you can do at home. So, Caroline, where do we begin and how do we even know we've got a block? Um, yeah, well, I think you know you have a block when you have something you want to achieve, but it doesn't seem to be happening, or you keep sabotaging it. I think that's, you know, if you want to lose weight, but you can't ever do it. If you want to find love, but, you know, you, you're, you're not. You're not. <laughs> or you keep having one disaster after the other. If you're trying to make more money, but no matter what you do, you always seem to be in debt or creating this cycle that you're not happy with, right? That's, it's pretty easy to identify the fact that you have a block. I think it sounds like everybody has a block. Yeah. <laughs> and they always do. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's got blocks and it's it's a constant evolvement. I mean, yeah, I'm constantly well, picking up new blocks and trying to clear them. I think that's because all of us actually want something. We're always wanting mm -hmm. something, whether it's a person, a thing, or a feeling. And if we're not achieving those block, or those things, then I guess that there's a block there, whether it's a person, a thing, or a feeling. Yeah, absolutely. So I think one of my favorite ways of kind of identifying a block and figuring out exactly what it is and, and a good visualization to clear it is to get into, you know, sit down somewhere or lie down, uh, take some deep breaths, maybe count from 10 down to one. And imagine you're walking along a path. So you're walking along a beautiful path on a gorgeous day and you notice the scenery starts to repeat itself. So you've seen the same trees, the same landmarks over and over again. And you notice it feels like you're kind of walking in a circle. And this represents this pattern that keeps coming up in your life, this block that you're not really getting ahead. And then you notice a sign that says the future you. So you start to follow this new path that's going kind of in another direction, but you suddenly stop, right? So you stop because there's this massive wall in front of you. And this wall represents any blocks or beliefs mm -hmm. holding you back. So can you see the wall? I can see a big dollar sign on this wall. <laughs> yeah, okay. What is the wall? Yeah, so is the wall made out of brick? Is it cement? Is it's it brick? It's yeah. orange brick. It's orange brick. <laughs> Am I supposed it's, to tell you? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's so uh, just seeing how tall it is, um, what kind of material it's made out of, how solid it is. And as you look at this wall, just imagining that there's graffiti kind of coming up on this wall now. And what the graffiti is, is what your blocks are. So if it's if it's around money, it's like, oh, it's hard to make money. I never get ahead. I'll always be in debt. Whatever those beliefs are. So can you see whatever mm, your beliefs are? That's a bit of back. a surprising answer, actually. Yeah. 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 So do you want to share or not really? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's to do with confidence, which is very mm. interesting because confidence is, is what... I teach and, and what I am, yeah. yet I know I'm confident in many, many areas of my life, yet charging my worth, mm. perhaps that is actually more about confidence than worth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they're, kind of, they're entwined, so mm. yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the wall, see it there, and with whatever those beliefs are that need to be cleared for you to achieve what you want to achieve. And as you look at that wall, just imagine there's a big crack in it, and you can see through to the other side. And on the other side is you in the future. <laughs> so peeking through the wall. And it's you in the future. And it's a you in the future that... She's wearing a crown. <laughs> nice. Woo! She's wearing a crown. <laughs> see her charging her worth. See her radiating confidence. Know she's good enough in every way. Um, and for you, see whatever you want to see in the future. If it's your ideal weight or if that's the ideal relationship or job or, or whatever goal you have. And really like picture that you exactly how you want to be but there's this wall in front of you so this wall is holding you back so this wall is created in your mind though so mm -hmm. you actually can take it down anytime you like so just imagine that you have whatever tools you need you can have sledgehammer, sledgehammer. <laughs> you can have a bulldozer you can dynamite and blow that sucker up don't know where that came from <laughs> <laughs> it's good you get into it yeah and just knock that sucker down and then just imagining walking up to that future you and that future you just imagine they can give you some advice and just tell you whatever you need to go okay so she's just going to tell you whatever you need to know that's going to help you achieve this goal so just hearing what they have to just say do it do 
it. Um, and just imagine you can unzip the old you and step out of it like it's an old pair of clothes and step out of any blocks or beliefs holding you back, any fears, any feelings of not being good enough or not deserving of what you want. And yeah, just discard those beliefs because mm. you can change them in an instant. And just imagine that you can step into that future self and just feeling how it feels to be in that future, imagining, like imagining a day in that future. And you can also, it's good to imagine being in it, the future and then stepping out and kind mm. of observing yourself as well. So it actually brings up a feeling of, of excitement in me, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's that easy. It actually is because literally it's just changing your thought. Yeah. So. so yeah, so it's really kind of connect with that future self and try to do that every day. Not necessarily the wall and the blocks, but imagine yourself in that future. And this is what I'm moving towards. This is how I am. Really, like the more you see it and feel it and experience it, the more it's just going to manifest in your life. And and you have to take the action that you're mm. inspired to take in order to achieve those goals, obviously. But it's telling yourself, you know, if it's money. I attract money easily. Mm. I make money easily. I find it easy to charge my worth and charge lots of money. Or I find it easy to go to the gym and eat a diet that's perfect for me. I find it easy to put myself out there with dating and meet that love of my life. And it's, yeah. It's really about the old saying, focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And connect with that. And it will change your life. Absolutely. But it's going to change mine. <laughs> Thanks so much, Caroline. You're I'm welcome. really excited. So next time we're back, I'll let you know how... Um, flush my bank account is <laughs> and show you my pretty crown cool. so yeah this has been awesome thank you we'll thank see you, you next time guys bye, bye. bye.